So during the weekend, the Miami Dolphins and the Houston Texans decided to make a nice little trade with each other. And this is a very interesting trade, Nate, and I'll tell you why in a sec. So I'll go over the trade first. So the Houston Texans are trading their linebacker, uh, Bernardrick uh, McKinney, to the Miami Dolphins for linebacker Shaq Lawson. So they're swapping linebackers, but not only that, they're swapping late round picks too. So the teams are swapping uh, late round picks. Miami is sending the Texans a 2021 sixth round draft pick, and the Texans are sending Miami a 2021 seventh round draft pick. Uh, these sources were from ESPN. This was reported by Adam Schefter. And the writer for this article was Cameron Wolf, ESPN staff writer. So, you know what, Nate? Let me start off first, okay? So, first of all, I wish uh, both players the best of luck on their new teams. Um, I'm going to start with Bernard. I'm going to start with Bernardrick McKinney first, Nate. Bernardrick McKinney on the Houston Texans this year, he had 37 ta- uh, 38 tackles. No, 37 tackles. Excuse me. I'm sorry. 37 tackles, and that's it, okay? Basically. Now, going to Shaq Lawson, okay? Shaq Lawson had, I'm pulling it up right now. Shaq Lawson had 33 tackles with four sacks this year. So when you really think about it, both linebackers really had a, both linebackers really had a declining year, obviously. Personally, I think, I think the Texans won this trade. I think the Texans won this trade. And the reason why is those four sacks. But again, we don't know what could happen in the future. You know what I'm saying? It's all I think personally, it's not even about these linebackers at this point. It's about what they're gonna do with those picks. And I know they're late round picks, and people are like late round picks really don't ever turn to anything, but that's not necessarily true. The greatest player, the greatest NFL player of all time was a sixth round pick. You know what I'm saying? Tom Brady was a sixth round pick. It's just as simple as that. Kurt Warner went on draft, he ended up becoming a Hall of Fame QB. There's been, it, it's just not true, Nate. It's really not true. So with that being said, it's going to come down to these two picks right here. Because the linebackers are pretty even. You know, I'd probably give like the edge to Shaq Lawson because he had those four sacks. But other than that, it's pretty even, Nate, if you really ask me. It, it's, it's pretty dead even. So those picks are going to determine who won this trade. Simple as that. Whether his sixth round pick is going to be better or whether the other team's seventh round pick is going to be better. Now, if both picks end up panning out in the NFL, then honestly, this trade was kind of useless, to be real with you. It's all going to come down to what their contracts are. And I don't know what their contracts are. You know, if anybody knows in the comments what their contracts are, please put them down below. We'd love to read them. But honestly, Nate, right now, I give the trade slightly to the Texans because they got a guy who had four sacks. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, Benardrick had four more tackles than him. And both teams didn't make the playoffs or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, I wish both teams the best of luck. I wish both players the best of luck. And it's not, a, it's not a trash on neither of them. I'm sure that like if one, I'm sure that if they, I'm sure it, it's definitely possible for both players to end up having a career resurgence, you know what I'm saying? And end up take, picking up and improving and developing from there on their different teams. It all depends on, what a certain player playing to a certain system one system doesn't work for another player they go to a different system and they end up becoming like a pro bowl or a great linebacker so it it all depends nate but honestly right now i think it's all going to depend on those two late round picks and if those two late round picks pan out it's going to depend on cash so with that being said i wish both players the best of luck i wish both teams the best of luck and i'll pass it on to you yeah as do i i wish both players the best of luck and both teams as well um, see, I'm not gonna say who won this trade, and and I and I've done and I always do it. The reason why I always do it, you never know what those what's gonna happen to those picks. You never know what they're gonna do to them, and you never know what what they're gonna turn out to be. You never know. That's why I never. I think the only one, the only trade where I said a team won that had that had picks involved was when the next got James Harden. Because let's be honest, you're never gonna get another shooter like James Harden at least for a long time. That is. That's why I said the 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 Nets won that trade because like you know. You know him, Kyrie, KD. You're gonna sit up here and tell me that's not that's not a powerful, scary big three. That's why I said they won. But every other trade, then you know, even the one with Matt Stafford and Jared Goff, and you know that involved a lot of picks too. You just don't know what's gonna to happen to those picks. Same thing with the Carson Wentz trade over to over to Indy. They gave him back um a few picks. You just don't know, dude. You really don't know what's gonna to happen to these picks, or you don't know what they're gonna turn out to be. That's why I can't say who won here. I mean, you you can say you can say 
what it, well, which team won over the other. You know, you know that's 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 your decision. But me, I cannot say who won this trade until I see those picks and what they turn. That's just me. But I mean, yeah. With that being said, I do wish I I still wish both teams the best of luck either way. I wish uh Bernard McKinley and Jack Lawson the best of luck. I wish the Texans and the Dolphins the best of luck. Uh, and I'm excited to see both teams play.